Hey guys, welcome back to Matt Tuttle's Fishing uh, YouTube page. And I'm really, really excited. Today, um, of course, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. And yesterday, I got to see my Christmas miracle uh, happen. Uh, of course, not taken away from anything about the birth of Jesus Christ, but my Christmas miracle beyond that was um, Freedom Outdoors started working on my motor. I've been without a boat for now a year and a month, and I've never gone any longer than seven days without a motor or without a boat. And the, you know, COVID and all the things that's happened, we couldn't get motors, can't buy a motor, can't, I can't get, I, it's just a very, very frustrating year. Uh, and with uh, the help of some friends that uh, got me connected up with uh, a couple of avenues to to get things going in the right direction as far as being able to get me what I need. That happened and they're starting to work on it. Uh, they started working on it yesterday and I think next week I'll have my boat back up running and operational. So really excited for one, be able to, you know, we're gonna get things back running for Matt Tuttle's Crappie Guide Service. Uh, I'll be doing a bunch of promotion stuff there. I'll be giving away free guide trips. I'll be doing a lot of things to let everybody know that I'm back up and running. Uh, and then also that uh, uh, back just on the water fishing. I, I, I fish four to five days a week. And so for the past year, I've not been able to do that. And so you need a lot of therapy uh, to, uh, to, to, to get caught back up on and, and doing a lot of fishing. So but hey, guys, just wanted to recap. Um, right now, all the, a lot of the lakes in Ohio have, especially the northern part of Ohio, have a little bit of ice on them. They've got some ice that forms in the channels and those types of things. And then the next thing we know, we get a big warm up and we get some rain and everything opens back up. So I don't ever, you know, I don't ever put my boat away. I, I if the lakes freeze here in the northern part of Ohio, I then just go to the southern part of Ohio. And a lot of times the southern part of Ohio, those lakes stay open. And at worst, you know, the backs of pockets and those types of things will get some ice in them, but not the main parts, the main lake or the main part of the of the creek channel. Those a lot of times will will stay open. And so I don't I don't stop fishing. I mean, I just I, I hook up the boat and I just travel. I just travel to where there's open water and I'll fish a lot of times southern Indiana. And just because we live in Ohio doesn't mean we got to go to Florida to go crappie fishing. We just, just go to Southern Ohio or maybe even just Northern Kentucky. You know, like in our area, I live in Ohio. So in our area, uh, you know, we have Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky, uh, kind of the tri-state area that has a lot of great crappie fishing. And even the Ohio River, uh, if you've never crappie fished the Ohio River, um, you know, th that has some tremendous crappie fishing. And so... Uh, if, you, if you guys have any questions or anything about fishing in Ohio or where to go catch crappies in Ohio, uh, drop comments down below and let me know where, where, you, where you have questions about, hey, can you catch fish over here or parts of the Ohio River and those things. And I'll, I'll be more than happy to, to share, you know, if, if I've caught fish there before or how to go catch fish there. So, um, you know, don't, don't stop fishing just because it gets cold, uh, you know, and, and and especially for you young, young tournament guys. Uh, you young tournament guys, man, you go three or four months without fishing, man, you lose, you lose the edge a little bit. So you need to still be out hunting, finding, understanding the transition from the fall transition to the winter transition, and then back to the spring transition, uh, how those fish move and migrate, and how sometimes in the spring it's just so cold yet that you still have to winter time fish. And so if you don't crappie fish during the winter, you don't understand what it's gonna to take to catch those fish. And so you lose out on that. So get, you know, keep your boats going, keep, keep out on the water and keep fishing. And so go, go to those lakes that are open and say, huh, I used to catch crappies here in, in the spring and they'd be eight foot or less, uh, in eight, eight foot or less of water. Well, now I'm having to fish in 25 to 40 foot of water and catch those crappies suspended, maybe suspended relating to brush piles, suspended relating to brush piles on creek channel turns, swings, those types of things. And that's what's going to help give you some experience 
for when tournament season comes, and especially early, you know, so early tournament season, sometimes we're still in that winter pattern. And especially those lakes that like I fish back home or here at home that have four to six foot of water been in period. So where do those crappie go to winter? And so a lot of times they'll go and they'll suspend in the middle of the channels. So come April when tournament season starts and we've had, let's say a real cold spring, those fish are still wintering. So they're not necessarily gonna be super snug tight to that brush pile in two foot of water. They still may be in that four and a half, five foot of water, four foot of water suspended. And you gotta figure out where the bait's at, where you gotta go chase those fish are at. So guys, don't, don't, don't just winter up. And you know, and I know a lot of guys like to ice fish and I'm not taking anything away from that. I'm talking to the tournament guys. You don't have to quit fishing. You don't have to winterize everything and put everything away. Just just go go a little south, just a couple couple hours sometimes or what have you, and just keep honing your skills. And, and that's going to be uh, a real key uh, transition for you from going from fall to winter to spring. You know, if you're from the south, you know, there, there's really no, you know, putting your boat away and such because you can fish all year round. We up here in the north, sometimes it gets really, really cold. Days where it's below zero or, you know, those types of things but we can always go just a little bit south and go fishing. So um, I just encourage you to do that. And so with getting uh, Matt Tuttle's Crappie Guide Service back up in action and firing back up, uh, gonna be putting you know some things on social media about it and those types of things and hope you guys follow and like along with that and uh, get the word out that we're gonna be back up and running. And then also, I just wanna take today, and, and like I said, I'm recording this today on Christmas Eve, and hopefully I'll get this, load, this loaded up on Christmas Eve yet. I just wanted to wish a Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Everyone that, uh, that just absolutely loves the crappie fish. And I want to thank each and every subscriber. Uh, and I know I'm not a, I'm not a huge channel, uh, but I am sure dang proud of my subscribers and, and, my, and the folks that have liked my videos or watched my videos. And I just encourage you, if you continue to, to want to see more, more videos like this, to make sure you hit the subscribe and hit the like button. And, and, and we're going to start, uh, when I get my boat back, um, I'm going to start having on the water videos. Uh, I haven't had been able to do it because I just don't have a boat. So uh, back on the water, on the water videos, and I'll be doing dock shooting videos. I'll be doing pontoon shooting videos. I'll be doing a lot of Ohio crappie fishing videos. And then also when I travel out of town, or out of state, I'll be chronicling those as well. So, uh, and, and also for this Christmas season, and uh, I wanna just give a huge thanks to our sponsors and our sponsors for our tournament fishing season. Uh, I'm speaking to my sponsors. I just wanna say a huge, huge thank you. Um, we say it all the time we can't do it without you and you know there's there's so much truth to that um when i can just go out on the water and i all i have to think about is where am i going to catch my fish where how am i going to catch my fish i'm not thinking about how i'm going to finance everything how i'm going to take care of everything how am i going to get the right jigs and all that type of stuff so first and foremost our title sponsor cover all tree service you know, it's been a, been a huge, huge support for us ever since the, the start of uh, Dan and I fishing together. And so, you know, anytime that you think about uh, tree service, make sure you give Cover All Tree Service a call. Uh, and also, I'm uh, gonna go right down the line. I'm just gonna thank all my sponsors. And so Rodney Kiefer Construction, um, solid support. Appreciate you. If you guys are thinking about new homes, uh, room additions, any type of thing, uh, concrete, driveways, patios. Think about Rodney Kiefer Construction. And also Jenko, Jenko Fishing, uh, Jenko Rods, the X-Series Rods, the, um, the, all of the, the plastics and baits, and they have all kinds of bass fishing. They have bass fishing rods, they got bass baits. All, it's a big one-stop shop uh, website, Jenko Fishing. So make sure you check out uh, all those guys there at Jenko Fishing. And then also, um, it's really, really cool that I can pull my truck, I can drive and pull my boat through town, heading to the lakes where I'm going. And man, my stuff looks good because of Miller's detailing. Uh, Miller's detailing and the, 
uh, ceramic coating wax and so just protects my equipment. Uh, make sure you check out Miller's detailing. And then also, uh, guys, we fish with some of the best baits between Janko, uh, and I want to mention Reed's crappie jigs, uh, hand tied crappie jigs. I, the guy can can match a lot of things to to plastics, and also he has the the twister tail, the hand tied twister tail jigs that will save you a lot of time and aggravation when you're shooting or you're pulling or you're, you're long lining or anything like that. So make sure you check out Reed's Crappie Jigs on Facebook. And then also um, Spillway Bait and Tackle. Uh, I, man, some of the prettiest uh, paint head designs. Mike is always on the cutting edge of every kind of new design crappie jig. And I, I'm proud to just say that uh, we're going into our 19th year of... Uh, being not only a sponsorship relationship, but one of my best friends in the world. And so uh, just thank Mike and Debbie there at Spillway Bait and Tackle for everything. Um, and also, um, you know, a new plastic line that uh, came to us here last year or so uh, is B&M Crappie Baits. And the quality of, of baits that uh, Bruce Menchover is putting out, uh, you're not gonna find any better anywhere. Uh, two collars, three collars, those things, make sure you check him out on Facebook as well, B&M Crappie Baits. And then uh, one of the one of the coolest sponsors and relationships that I, I've, I've gotten is Midas. And of course, you know, this year, and, and some of you may not know, but uh, Jack Surface, uh, who was just an absolute, absolute dear friend of mine and very special to me, um, more so than being a sponsor of Midas just really, really taught me a lot about being a great and awesome human being, a giving, awesome human being. I've never met anybody so giving and so just wanted to see other people succeed. And he just wanted to share his ability of, he was very successful, but he wanted to share that with you and other people. Anybody ever come in contact with Jack Surface is a different person today because they came in contact with Jack Surface. And one of the cool things is, is that his family is just like him. Um, you know, his kids, his boys, his, uh, you know, Thomas and Zach, and, uh, you know, they're, they're just super quality people. And I, I'm just, you know, just keep those guys, those, that family in prayer this year for this Christmas season. They lost one of the best. Um, but I guarantee he's making heaven even a better place. And so uh, just a, you know, just a special, special person. And, and just no surface family. You always, you will always be at the top of my prayer list and in my heart. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Guys, I'm going to move on to uh, Bub's daddy. I, I don't know. I don't know of any other uh, mental pump out there on the market that's any better. I the, Guys, make sure you go to the Bub's Daddy store. Go to the Bub's Daddy store on the internet or you go on Facebook and just look at the equipment and the things that he's selling on, on there. Um, he's always coming up with some new designs, new things, and some new things for, for LiveScope, uh, some new equipment for that. And guys... Go to the Bub's Daddy store and get the best. There, there's, there's. I'm not saying it just because I got a relationship with Bub's Daddy. I'm telling you for the fact, the best. And then uh, also one of the things that you see me post a lot on social media is I like to eat. I love to eat. I, I like food. I like doing a lot of grilling and such. And guys, I'm always carrying around a bottle of Mike's One-Eyed Rooster Rub, Mike's Chicken Rub. You check out Mike's Chicken Rub on Facebook. Um, they, I'm telling you, anything that you are eating, it will make it taste better. I promise you. Salads, any it, any kind of food that you put on on the table, uh, mashed potatoes. I, I don't I don't care. Whatever it is, if, if if your wife's trying to get you or girlfriend's trying to get you to eat vegetables, put Mike's Chicken Rub on it. You will eat the vegetables. So guys, just make sure you check out Mike's Chicken Rub. Guys, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for Matt Tuttle's Crappie Guide Service, Matt Tuttle Fishing. Very huge, huge thank you. And I, I, like I said, I'm very, very proud of my sponsors. 
And last but not least, I always have the, see these, these are the spool stations. And I have my spools aligned, and that's from JT Woodworking and Sharpening. And I, I can spool all my lines right there. I can change out spools if I need to change out spools. Also, I have a spooling stool. And so if you crappie fishermen know, you don't want to put line on a spinning reel like that. So my spool set up upright on a spooling stool that JT Woodworking and Sharpening built for me. And that's how I get all my reels ready for my guide trips and also for my tournaments. So don't forget the fine folks at JT Woodworking and Sharpening. They sharpen anything, anything that has an edge, anything from chainsaw blades to mower blades to your household knives, your fillet knives, your serrated knives. He can sharpen them all. He can do it all. And he's he can furniture wise, he's building furniture. The, it's just insane talent. And I got a real cool secret project coming up. Not a secret, but I'm just keeping it under wraps until we have it done. There's a huge project. I'm all I'm going to say. It's my truck project. So I'm really excited about that. And don't, don't forget to check them out on Facebook at JT Woodworking and Sharpening. Guys, thank you for everything this year. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget, it's not time to quit fishing. If you're a tournament fisherman, you need to be on the water. You need to be on the water as much as you possibly can. Just go a little further south and see how those fish are reacting to a winter time change and how they're positioning. And then you'll be able to learn how that transition changes in the spring, like I said earlier in the video. Guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year.